If you guys watched yesterday's video, you know today is about to be a good one. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's me, Speed. I'm bringing you guys another video. In this video today, we are back again talking about the Sonic the Hedgehog movie universe. Yes, once again, this isn't necessarily Sonic movie 3 related, kind of. We will be discussing the movie, as what we're about to talk about has major implications for the film ahead. But this gives us massive insight on what could happen in future Sonic movies. If you guys aren't aware, yesterday we talked about Sonic movie 4 and the possibility, not really possibility, the certainty at this point, of there being more Sonic movies and TV shows in the future to further expand this universe as it's basically been stated that they want to turn the Sonic movie franchise into basically its own MCU. If you guys haven't watched that video, you should go watch it right now and, you know, subscribe to the channel while you're at it. You know, it's the best Sonic channel on YouTube. And while that was great to talk about and was official news coming from the executive producer of the franchise himself, today we have something juicy because this isn't official. We got a leak, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys aren't aware, for the past few days there's been a specific document that's been floating around the internet that has been kind of talked about but hasn't been incredibly widespread, but I find incredibly interesting because this gives us massive insight on what could be in the future of the Sonic movie franchise, what characters could pop up, and specifically what things are going to be based off of. So without any further ado, let's take a look at it. I discovered this from a tweet that is from super underscore ULT and they say, so apparently because of contracts on the public record for US copyrights, the Sonic movies aren't allowed to touch any source material of the series outside these list of Sonic titles. So let's take a look at what they have. This is straight up as you can see right here from the document, Sonic the Hedgehog and nine other titles. Owner, Sega of America Incorporated. Author, Paramount Pictures Corporation. Basically like an understanding of where well, we're the owners of this. We're giving you guys the ability to use any of this that you want. So here is what they have. First things first, Sonic Adventure 2. I love that Sonic Adventure 2 is the first thing that they put on there. It's like the first one on the list. This is in no particular order, by the way, like based off of like what Sega or Paramount thought would be the coolest to adapt. Just think it's ironic that the Sonic story that has the most story potential and that is actually getting adapted is just at the top of the list. We know this to be the case already. It's been stated multiple times that this movie is going to be based off Sonic Adventure 2, so that's very exciting. And then right under it, it says Sonic the Hedgehog, assuming this means the first ever Sonic game from 1991. It seems they've adapted some elements from that, but very loosely. There's not too much to adapt, once again. Sonic the Hedgehog CD, so this opens up some other possibilities with other characters, such as Amy and Metal Sonic, to be specific. And before we go any further, I think I should note that when like I read Sonic CD for instance that doesn't mean that like there's going to be a Sonic movie based off of like that game and that story in particular of Sonic going past and future and those characters popping up in the same circumstances they did in that game. The movies very clearly loosely use the characters and stories and elements from the games and then make their own thing with it. I mean just look at Sonic the Hedgehog 2. That's nothing like the Sonic 2 video game. Like I doubt we're gonna get a movie called Sonic CD but if we see Amy or Metal Sonic pop up at some point I'd expect them in different contexts than the Sonic CD game itself. This one, of course, is very interesting. The original Sonic Adventure. There haven't been too many elements from this outside of the Echidna Clan, but even then, they take their own liberties with how they handle the Echidna Clan. So this can still open up the door for chaos, Gamma, maybe some elements from that game, but I feel like if we're already at SA2, we're not really gonna touch SA1 at this point, but you never know. This one is interesting. Sonic Heroes is right under it. Heroes would be an interesting game to get elements of. I don't really see that being able to be adapted into a story. Heroes has such a light, loose plot. There's nothing very concrete story-wise or character development-wise there. I'm sure there are gonna be people in the comments who argue that, but if you compare it to a game like Sonic Adventure 2, or even games that come after it, like Unleashed, 06, all those other games, Frontiers. It's a pretty chill run-of-the-mill game with a story that's, you know, kind of silly, but you know, that might let you bring in Chaotix members and adapt maybe some stuff from that, but once again, this is stuff that Paramount could use if they want to, but they're really able to use their own stuff here. They're able to make their own stories, and I think that's what they're going to continue to do, but if they want to, they're able to pull from all of these different elements. So if there's something in Heroes that they like, guess they can do that. Now this one is super interesting and I'm really happy to see it here and that is Sonic Writers. Yeah, that's right. If you saw Jet the Hawk in the thumbnail and were wondering what the heck, that's, that's that. Will we get a Sonic Riders movie? 
no, but we could definitely see elements of riders pop up in a movie, kind of similar to how we saw Mario Kart pop up in the Mario movie. It could be an element of like Sonic 4 or whatever movie or show they have planned, where they have the characters on hoverboards. Where or how or why that would happen, I have no clue. But I know the fan base would eat that up, bring in maybe some of the writers' characters like the Babylon Rogues, that could be fun. These are made by the producers of Fast and Furious. They can go full out Fast and Furious with this and have like Team Sonic versus the Babylon rogues. Do I want that? I, I don't know. I could write it for you guys, Paramount, if, if you want a good script. But that one seems like one of the lesser likely ones to happen, but nonetheless, I'm happy that there is the option for it to be adapted. Now, this is the craziest one. I did not see this one coming whatsoever. Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 is on this list, guys. Yeah, there's so much you could do with 06. There's so much you can adapt. So many characters. Silver, obviously. I know he's a lot of people's top choice to be in movie four. It also gives you room for Blaze. All of these different characters teaming up. And of course, Princess Elise. <laughs> I think y'all know who I want, to, I want to play her. And low key for that movie, they should like make Sonic like a human, just someone in a Sonic costume. You know, Sonic Man's in Sonic 06. They should cast me, and like they can have like the whole love dynamic between Elise and Sonic Man, and just have me play him. You know what I'm saying? Like, but to be completely real, though, I'm absolutely flabbergasted that this game is in here. Now, this could be for one of two reasons. They are just like, okay, if you want to use 06, feel free to, and they really just don't care. Or two, Paramount slash Sega wanted care characters like Silver and Blaze to be able to be adapted, and with Silver in particular that being his introduction game, maybe they wouldn't have been able to use Silver in Sonic movies if they didn't have 06 on this list. That might be the case as well. A lot of character introduction games are on this list, so that might be one of the reasons why there's so many, and maybe a lot of obscure ones, like there's Sonic Riders on here, but maybe it's because they want to use the Babylon Rogues. That could very well be one of the reasons 06 is on this list. At least that's like the thing I've made up in my head that makes the most sense as of now, but regardless, as you guys know, 06 is my favorite Sonic game. I love that thing to death, so I'm just like beyond happy to see that here and hope that we can at some point see 06 elements in a Sonic movie. Now this one is like the last one that is kind of surprising and interesting to see here is this is kind of where it ends. That's Sonic Colors. This would mean Wisps, an international amusement park. There's so many question marks around that as of now with Jim Carrey probably not coming back after this point. Like what would be able to do with that? But that opens up the gateways for some things to be adapted into movies which would be interesting. And then underneath it is Sonic Hedgehog 2 and 3. Basically most if not all of what you could adapt from those games have been adapted into the movies. Also classic titles, not too much to do like we said with the others. And now I know what you're saying. Where's this game? Where's this game? And I completely agree. If you guys didn't notice, there is no Unleashed on this list. None of the storybook games are on this list. That's not too surprising. And in terms of the newer titles, it cuts off its Sonic Colors. It means no Generations, which honestly doesn't surprise me that much either. I don't know why they'd want to turn that non-story into a story, but also no Lost World, so no Zeddy, no Forces, and no Frontiers yet. Now it should be noted, the Sonic movie was originally at Sony Pictures before Sony gave up on the project and just gave it to Paramount. And this was around the mid 2010s, so games like Sonic Forces and Sonic Frontiers weren't out yet, and Frontiers was definitely not in development yet. So if you're wondering why a lot of the more recent titles aren't on this list, that's why. And if we're being completely real, I don't think we're missing out too much. Like, I don't think we need to see Frontiers elements adapted into a movie, like, anytime soon. I don't think anybody is clamoring for a Forces type story. Honestly, the cutoff point of colors doesn't bother me too much. Would I have liked to see something like Unleashed in there? Yeah, just in case Paramount wanted to flirt with the idea of incorporating some elements of that game into a movie. But at the same time, I could see how Sonic turning into a werewolf would be such a polarizing thing for audiences to see just as much as it was when we were kids and that game was coming out. Despite them being called storybook games and having a big story emphasis, also glad not to see the storybook games there either. I know a lot of people, and I've even read it in the comments, would love to to see a Black Knight kind of movie, and don't get me wrong, that'd be interesting, but you kind of got to think of it in a Hollywood sense, like, would that make sense? Would that make money? It makes more sense in a video game context than a movie one. I don't know, guys, I just really wanted to talk about this because I found this incredibly interesting in all the stuff that's allowed to be adapted from all of this stuff. There isn't really too much to talk or speculate about beyond this. Like I said, it's not going to be one-to-one -one recreations of all of these different games. They're going to be their own thing and take elements of these, but allow themselves to have the freedom to make the best story possible, and Sega has to allow Paramount to do that, like, 
legally. So we'll see what comes of this. We'll see what characters get introduced in Sonic Movie 3 and also Sonic Movie 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The future is looking bright and this opens the door for a lot of really cool characters to be introduced. So I want to pass this off to you guys and ask what you think. What do you think about all of the games that Sega has allowed Paramount to use to adapt into their Sonic the Hedgehog movies? What games do you expect to be adapted the most and what ones do you not? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to know what you guys have to say. Feel free to follow my social media links to my Twitter and Instagram which is below. You can follow those behind season of my life, future content, and all things Sonic the Hedgehog. But most importantly, if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. This is the number one destination on YouTube for all things Sonic. Whether it's video games, TV shows, movies, comics, merchandise, and more, we talk about it all. Don't forget, CinemaCon is this week, so we might be hearing Sonic Movie 3 news any day now. Not just that, Sonic X Shadow Generations is coming. We have the Knuckles TV show in only a few weeks. It's an insane time to be a Sonic fan. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Right by the motherfucking seaside dog Everything I see, I got a dream I thought these leaves are gonna take me out the dark I know everything I wanted to find